Hello again. It's been a while since my last video. I'm down here at the beach in uh, Ross Niger on Anglesey. I had a big storm yesterday and there were some pretty impressive waves, but I'm not a nutcase, so I didn't get out and film them. Don't think we're going to get much of a sunset, although there's some quite nice high cloud in the sky. Bit of an excuse, really. We've still got a power cut at home, so I said, hey, I'll go out and get a pizza which means that I get half an hour on the beach taking pictures. So, I'm going to have a look around, see if I can find a composition. Um, I've also got a new lens that I want to try out. I'll show you that in a little while. So I'm going to find a composition and get set up, and then uh, we'll see what's what. You can probably see behind me that uh, it's actually quite a pleasant sunset. Um, it won't win any awards, but at least it makes the image a little bit more interesting. So uh, let me show you how I'm set up here and uh, talk you through the picture technicalities. Um, first off, here's the, uh, the new lens I was telling you about. It's uh, the Tokina uh, 11 to 16 wide angle. Um, now, in keeping with my whole theme of cheap photography, uh, I buy pretty much all of my lenses second hand, and I got this one for just over 200 quid. Completely unmarked, almost as if it's brand new. And that's a 500 quid lens if you go to Jessup's, so I reckon that's a pretty good deal. Uh, the settings I've got, I'll show you those now. So I'm shooting manual, um, shutter speed 200, f4. This lens, by the way, is an f2.8, it's really fast. Um, and I think it'll be quite good for astrophotography. So if I get anything, uh, anything good out of it, I'll, I'll make another video and show you. Um, ISO 100, of course, got a polarizing lens on. And what I'm gonna be doing is focus stacking because my foreground, you can probably see, those little bits of seaweed down there are in the picture, um, so I'm probably going to take four focus points out to infinity, um, and I'm also bracketing each one uh, because I want to make sure that in post I can get exactly the right exposure uh, to bring it all together nicely. So um, I'll take a few more as the sun goes down and uh, grab a pizza later. <laughs> We'll see what happens. If I find any other, um, any other shots, I probably won't. This beach is a bit nondescript. There's no sexy S-curves as the stream runs down the beach or anything like that. I don't think there are really any more compositions. The tide's coming in fast. The sun will be going down. We might get a bit of colour later, I don't know. Uh, but uh, probably just leave it at this uh, for today. I'm going to be focus stacking this particular image, so probably four focus uh, distances. Uh, I'm, I'm photographing at 12 millimeters focal length, uh, so I've got pretty much everything in from about 18 inches in front of the lens out to the horizon. So I think probably need about four, four images at different focuses. Um, I'm also bracketing at uh, one stop over and under, uh, bracketing three shots. So probably end up with about 12 shots to bring together to make the final image. Um, I might make a, a film about the post-processing on this one because it does demonstrate focus stacking uh, and blending uh, bracketed images. Um, so yeah, maybe, don't know, we'll see. Uh, anyway, Better get finished up before I get washed away by the tide, grab a pizza and head off home. Thanks for joining me, see you next time.